Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Parts. I'm not going to show my picture because I want to basically show this whole page. Um, besides water chemistry, everybody knows I'm big in knowing CPR and first aid. If you own a bathtub, uh, people don't realize you can drown in a half inch of water or less. So I recommend everybody know and learn CPR and first aid. I really do. Secondly is um, I would go to um, water chemistry. Water chemistry can be a killer. I'm always hopping on water chemistry and pH. And this is my third thing out in the field This always used to bother me. There's a thing called hydraulics. And this book is coming from Pentair Stay Right. Now, if any of you want to be a true Stay Right, true mechanic, and they only have it once a year, you go to the Pentair Stay Right College. I think it's in Wisconsin for a week. You will learn a lot and you will have fun. Recommend it very highly. All right. There's a lot of things we can talk about, but when you move a body of water, it's called hydraulics. Okay? So there is this pump, and what's happening is they put, and you see it all the time, they put a 90 right before the pump, okay? Sometimes they have a three-way jandy valve here, you know, so you can turn off, off your skimmer or a main drain, and they come with a piece of pipe, and then they put a 90 just before the pump, okay? Well, when you do that, it's called cavitation, and it's creating air bubbles, all right? What it's trying to tell you from the beginning of this pump, beginning of this pump, and really they're saying from this edge of this pipe, but I'm saying from the beginning edge of this pump to this 90, there's got to be four times pipe diameter. Now this is minimum, more is better. So if argument's sake, we go to um, two inch pipe, all right? We want to have eight inches of clearance of straight pipe before any 90. Now, my thought is all 90s on a pool, especially on suction side, should be outlawed, okay? should be used 45s, no 90s. The other thing that should be outlawed is inch and a half pipe. Use two or two and a half inch pipe. Larger pools, use three inch pipe. But that's me. I will scroll down. This is um, airlock basically, this is a halter loop. You see something like that and that's airlock. Um, no brainer, usually you see plumbing like this in a hot tub. Um, but anyway, um, let me scroll down so you can read read some of these safety tips. Okay. Now I have another I have lots of big pet peeves. So hopefully you can stop that and you can read this plumbing safety tip. If you have a pool and you're vacuuming it, and especially if you have pine needles, pine cones, leaves, or anything, you want to get what's called a skimmer plate. Instead of sticking your vac hose, taking out your skimmer basket, and taking your vac hose and sticking it in that pipe, so directly, every all this crap goes in the pump basket, hopefully, doesn't get stuck. If it's a pine needle, 
And I used to see it a lot in the field, made lots of money blowing and sucking and getting pine needles and pine cones. And it would hit that 90 and just sit there and vibrate and the other garbage and slowly would um, clog up the pump and you would see the basket half full of water and because it can't suck properly because it's got crap in the pipe. So that's why I like if you're going to vacuum a skimmer plate. Okay, basically you leave your um, skimmer basket in place. You put the skimmer plate on over the basket and connect your hose. So any of the crap, big crap, like leaves and whatever, either get stuck in your hose, stuck at the end of your um, back head, or hopefully in the skimmer basket, not in your pump. All right, so this is Harvey's big pet peeve, all right? This hydraulics, all right? Hydraulics are huge, especially going into a pump, okay? Remember, four times the pipe diameter. So if this is two inches, you have eight inches, a straight pipe, before you go in to that pump. That's minimum. So if you had a Jandy valve or a Haywood valve or any kind of valve, all right, you come out of that pump, eight inches, and what I would do is I would put a union right here, all right? And then I come out of the union, and I put in my jandy valve or whatever, you know, that you want to turn off your skimmer or main drain, whatever. And I would put a union here because you have a need to disconnect the pump or whatever. You do it by a union. makes things so much nicer. Besides that, when pumps do overheat a little bit, this male adapter that you screwed in loosens up over time and you can cavitate and suck air. It will rather suck air than suck water. So a lot of times this is your main culprit too. All right, when I was out in the field, I used to go to Ace. Ace used to sell it. Now I have to go to West Marine. And I bought clear marine silicone. And I squeezed it and put it in the threads. And I threaded it into the pumps. All right, nice and tight and let it dry. Well, let me tell you, after four years, I never had pumps that leaked. So anyway, guys, uh, this is my pet peeve. Um, so water chemistry. Um, learn CPR, do anything in your life, learn CPR, learn first aid, water chemistry, and then start doing hydraulics. All right, guys, hopefully this was a little helpful little tip. I'm Harvey from All Parts Pool and Spa. May you have a great day. Take care.